we discuss how the Salvation Army bell is more than just a tradition. It's also a lifeline. Plus, we discuss the tradition of Three Kings, Hispanic outreach, and engaging fathers to improve outcome for kids. It's all here on the next Latino Motion. Join us. Choose to get lost in the woods to gain experience in forest management. Choose to travel through time to understand the past. Choose to soar to pursue a career in dance. Stockton University offers 50 high quality academic programs, small class sizes and affordable tuition. Choose to match your interests and talents at one of New Jersey's nationally ranked universities. Latino Motion with Bert Lopez is presented by Latino Motion Public Affairs Media, a New Jersey nonprofit corporation, and Stockton University. This edition of Latino Motion with Bert Lopez is brought to you by the HD Studios at the campus of Stockton University. Funding for Latino Motion is provided by Atlanticare, a member of Geisinger. Atlantic City Electric, energy for a changing world, and South Jersey Gas. Welcome to Latino Motion, a weekly interview show highlighting issues impacting New Jersey's Latino community while advancing understanding of Latino cultural heritage and contributions to our society. And here is your host, Bert Lopez. Buenos dias and welcome to Latino Motion. The sound of the Salvation Army bell is a sure sign of the spirit of giving. Joining me to discuss more about this holiday tradition is Frank Picciotto. He is with the Salvation Army in Atlantis City. Captain, welcome to Latino Motion. Oh, thank you, Mr. Lopez. And uh, I'm really blessed to be here today, uh, you know, being you know, interviewed by you and sharing, uh, you know, the Salvation Army and what we do. Well, the, let's go right with the bell, because yes. obviously when, when every, every, around the holiday season, it wouldn't be the same if you didn't hear the Salvation Army bell. Tell me a little bit about the history behind that. Well, you know, in the, in, in the early 19th century, uh, there was uh, one gentleman, an officer just like me, who uh, decided to go out on the street and, uh, you know, ring the bell. He had a little kettle and, uh, you know, he was able to bring in some money, you know, as a fundraiser. And we were, you know, able to help uh, the community through that. And through the years, as the years have gone by, you know, we continue to, uh, you know, start in the middle of November and end on December 24, excluding Sundays, because that's the Lord's Day. And so we take a day uh, to, you know, glorify God. And so we've been blessed, uh, you know, every year, you know, being able to uh, have a fundraiser and, uh, and, and the money that is uh, accumulated and, and taken into the kettles helps the community throughout the, you know, the whole year. And so we're really blessed with that. And are these all volunteers that you drive around to uh, set up at different uh, locations? Uh, nowadays, it's a little bit harder. So right, right now, you know, we pay uh, the workers uh, and help them out too. You know, a lot of people that uh, work, right, right. work for the Salvation Army or those who are struggling uh, finding a job. And so we're helping them uh, through the season. And uh, we do get some volunteers and we're really blessed with that. But, you know, in the in the new year coming up, uh, we're going to try to get more volunteers so that we can, uh, you know, just share, you know, the blessing with everybody. I know you have a magnitude of services uh, that you uh, do throughout the year. This fundraiser helps you carry out that mission throughout mm -hmm. the year. Tell me a little bit about what you do during this holiday season to help the needy. Well, you know, the, the major thing is the Angel Tree Program, which is, uh, you know, tags that we make, uh, you know, on, for each family, you know, mm -hmm. depending amount of uh, children there are ages 0 to uh, 12 or 13, and, uh, you know, we share that with the community by giving it out to adoptive families or even uh, individuals or even uh, companies. And they are able to take these tags, go to the store, you know, buy the toys, and then bring them back. And we usually put them, you know, together in one uh, bag, and then we, uh, you know, have a day where we give them out back to the, uh, the families. And so uh, I know it's really hard nowadays uh, with toys and, and, and even clothing. We give out clothing, you know, coats, gloves, hats, you know, anything that the, the child needs. And uh, they're really a, a blessing, you know, for the children because I grew up not having any toys. You know, I grew up in a poor family. And so for us to just have a child, you know, have a smile and share the love of God with it them. It certainly yeah. makes a big difference, particularly this time of year. Yes. And, and you have a lot of generous people who are 
contributing and doing their part as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, everybody that, uh, you know, every year it's getting bigger and better. You know, this year we're, we're helping about 500 families oh, that's in the greater Atlantic City community. And so, uh, and then we also have a waiting list, you know, so All there's right. people waiting and uh, hopefully on Friday we'll be able to help those on a waiting list as well. Well, we want to talk more about the other services. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Latino Motion. Latino Motion with Bert Lopez is presented by Latino Motion Public Affairs Media, a New Jersey nonprofit corporation. Join us online at www.latinomotion.tv. Find us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. We encourage your comments and contributions for show topics. Welcome back to Latino Motion. I'm once again with Frank Picciotto, Captain Frank Picholto, uh, as we discuss the Salvation Army's year-round work of caring for others, and you have a whole array of services. You started to get into it a little bit. Let's talk about uh, some of the basic needs and emergency services that you do provide. Yeah, I mean, uh, every week uh, we have uh, Monday through Friday, we have our soup kitchen, 12 to 1. We feed about 100, 150 people uh, every day. And then we have a food pantry where we feed you give out food to about two, 3,000 people uh, every uh, month. And so there's a lot of need, uh, you know, because we don't want anybody to uh, starve or, or you know, uh, go through a situation where, you know, they don't have any meals. And so the thing is uh, we're able to provide that kind of service. And we also provide that service to the children because we have an after-school program oh, as nice. well as a summer day camp, an overnight camp. And we always want to make sure that the, uh, the bellies are full. Right. So that uh, when they go to bed, uh, you know, they, they, they have a good night's sleep. Uh, we don't want any child to go to bed without any food in their stomach. And I know in Atlanta City there is a need for ESL classes, and you also started that as well. Tell me about that. Yeah, I mean, there was a lady, Miss Maureen, who's a, a teacher at a local school, who uh, came to me. Uh, she was, uh, you know, doing ESL class at, in, in another location, and she came to us, and I said, you know, we're open to help, uh, you know, those who are struggling uh, with English, um, I, I myself uh, came from Italy, uh, and uh, at the age of five years old, I was left back in, in kindergarten because I couldn't speak English, and so I understand uh, the it's suffering very, very that's going on. Right. Yeah. Uh, so that it's available on Tuesdays from six to seven thirty, and you're going to start that after, after uh, the Christmas the holiday, year. after yes. the New Year. Uh, and obviously, uh, true to the Salvation Army, not only do you provide basic need, but you also provide. Uh, spiritual guidance. Tell yeah, me about I mean, that. My so. wife and I, we're both ordained ministers. Uh, the Salvation Army comes from a Wesleyan background. And uh, the founder of the Salvation Army, William Booth, he was a, a Methodist minister. And in 1865, around that, that era, you know, he saw in England where the Salvation Army started uh, in London, where, you know, the churches at that time were uh, separating, uh, you know, the rich and the poor. You know, you had the rich in the front, the poor in the back. So everybody had their name on their seat. And uh, he just wanted, uh, you know, to include everybody. And that's what Jesus would do, you know. He would want to include everybody within the church. And so we always welcome uh, people from all languages, cultures, you know, backgrounds. You know, it doesn't matter, you know, how much money you're making. But it's, in order to accomplish yeah. all this, uh, yeah. all the great work that you do, you do need volunteers. Tell yes. me about your volunteer needs. Uh, I mean, uh, every day, you know, we, we help uh, homeless people with a shower. Uh, we have a shower in our location. That's called the shower ministry. We have a, a washer and a dryer, so we wash and, and dry clothes. You know, we uh, need people to help us uh, volunteer and help and prepare food and serve the food. We've been blessed, uh, you know, in the past with groups coming. And so, uh, you know, we welcome anybody. You can yeah. always use more. And you can certainly use some bilingual as well. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, the Salvation Army is located uh, where in Atlantic City? It's at 22 South Texas Avenue in Atlantic City. And so we're in a good location. I'm really blessed, uh, you know, at the location we're at. All right, so the phone number is 609-344-0660. Yes, that's correct. Thank you so Thank much you. for taking the time to be with oh. us. And please stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Latino Motion. Thank you for connecting with Latino Motion. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. My name is Adrian Lopez and I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.
Welcome back to Latino Motion. One important tradition in much of Latin America that's still alive here locally is the Three Kings Day celebration. Reverend Amarilis Gonzalez with the Oasis United Methodist Church is here to tell us more about that tradition. Reverend, welcome to Latino Motion. Thank you for having me here again. We love Christmas, we love Santa Claus, but for us it's very important to teach our children about Three Kings. We not only make a connection with the Bible, with Jesus, but also it's important to teach our children about the great histories, the, great, uh, the greatest of our culture in, Amer in Latin America. And I remember as a kid uh, in Puerto Rico, we would take a shoebox, put grass on it, uh, put it underneath the, the bed, grass for the camels, and then you wake up in the morning, you had a gift. It's funny to see the kids nowadays trying to find how to interchange into for grass, like, like hay or trying to find it's, something it's, to put in the box. It's hard boxes. to find grass yes, here. Yes, but for us, it's great to see that our traditions are still alive, and that's what we want at Pleasant Building United Methodist Church. Now, obviously, this is rooted on the, the foundations of the Bible. Tell us about that. Yes, of course. After Jesus was born in the manger, the three kings came to present their gifts to Jesus Christ. And uh, as of today, we remember that moment as the first moment humanity presented gratitude to him as a king. Now, uh, obviously, uh, Oasis United Methodist Church is one of those churches, Latino churches, who still celebrates three kings. And uh, there's also the Hispanic Alliance is also doing a celebration on January the 5th. Tell me about the one you're doing. We have our celebration on the 6th at 11 o'clock, and we bring the kids that come not only from the church, but also from all the community. We serve the children in the food pantry. We serve the kids in the after-school program. Actually, it's a homework completion program. And all the drives that we do throughout the year, we serve those kids during the Three Kings celebration. Uh, so they all walk away we with a toy, yes, so that, yes. which is wonderful. And, yes. uh, you know, uh, oftentimes, uh, many of the kids may not have had that Christmas, and they get yes. an opportunity to get a gift for Three Kings. It's always January the 6th. Uh, yes. uh, the Hispanic Alliance is doing it on the, the 5th, which is a Saturday over at Our Lady Star of the Sea in Atlanta City. Yours is January the, the, the 5th. The 6th, I'm sorry, and it At starts at 11, 11 a.m. And it's called the Epiphany Service. And it's part of, part All the of United the Methodist Churches celebrate Epiphany Services. So obviously, Pastor, uh, you count on the generosity of others as well to make all this possible. And if someone wants to donate, wants to get involved, who should they call? Of course, they can always call me. My cell phone number is 856-882-8434. They can always pass by the church, 316 Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue. And we're there on Sundays, of course, at 11, or like I said, at 4 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And you're also looking for volunteers for the other uh, events as well? We have different services, not only the homework completion program. We're trying to get a hold of chefs or people who are running caterings so they can come and use our kitchen. They can help us to teach the community how to prepare meals. But they can also build their business in our church. Oh, uh, it's, yes. a good, it's a good concept. It's uh, kind of like a uh, micro start uh, for a business and utilizing the facilities there at Aces United Methodist Church. It's a great, Especially it's a great, students, great culinary idea. students. Um, they can always use our kitchen. It's a fully licensed kitchen. Well, we do want to talk more about the outreach you're doing out in the community. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Latino Motion. Latino Motion with Bert Lopez is presented by Latino Motion Public Affairs Media, a New Jersey nonprofit corporation. Join us online at www.latinomotion.tv. Find us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. We encourage your comments and contributions for show topics. Welcome back to Latino Motion. We're once again with Reverend Amarilis Gonzalez to discuss the fine work that they're doing to empower the Hispanic community locally in Atlantic County. And I know that uh, you're up against the 29th anniversary of the church, so it's an important landmark. Yes, it is. We have been there in the community for 29 years, but in that specific location for 10 years. It's right in the middle of the city, at the heart of everything that is happening, and we're touching the lives of many people. And that's not only the city of Pleasantville. Yes, not only the Latino people, but all the people around us. So you have your hands full with uh, a lot of folks that have come over from Puerto Rico, yes. and I know since the storm hit there, we have had a wave of Puerto Ricanos coming into the area, and you're helping them to settle. Tell me about that. Yes, we run a monthly food pantry. And we have an increase from 150 to 305 families. So 
all that came from the families from Puerto Rico. We were the opening gate for them in the community. We speak Spanish. We know the community. We have resources around us, and we connected them with the people who were able to help them. Uh, which is a great hand up, obviously, for a lot of the folks. That uh, fortunately, my dad came just a month before the storm hit. But we know that the great need of some of those individuals still recovering. Uh, let's talk about some of the other services. You did mention the fact that you do have the homework help and and the whole idea of getting chefs involved and, mm -hmm. uh, with the kitchen. Let's talk about the food pantry and other drives you're doing. Well, the food pantry is run every last Wednesday of the month. We need volunteers on Tuesdays and Wednesdays to help us with uh, the people and organizing the food baskets. We always need volunteers for the homework completion program and all the drives we do. It depends on the season, it depends on the need, and we always receive uh, items from different churches, different organizations. They stop by and always provide different kinds of donations. And of course, when uh, folks think about the, the Latino community in Atlanta County, they always turn to uh, Atlanta City. But in Pleasantville, it's a very large, yes. even larger in terms of the percentage yes. in the Pleasantville area. Yes, yes, that is true. We, we've been struggling a little bit with that, trying to change the mindset of the community. They think they have to go to Atlantic City, but we're right there. We're, like I say, we're at the heart of the city and we can connect them with all the services they need. And we wanna welcome, and we wanna make everybody feel welcome there. So what's your vision for the future for the church? My vision, well, we're gonna have 500 members. We're gonna be serving probably 70% of the families in Pleasantville. And we're going to be touching the lives of many, 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 many more generations. Well, and that's the key. To keep, come. Keep touching the lives of many. Yeah. Thank you so much for Thank sharing you. this with our audience. And please stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Latino Motion. Welcome back to Latino Motion. Joining me is Mike Cupeles to discuss the important initiative from Gateway Community Action Partners to get fathers more engaged in the lives of their children. Very important initiative. Tell me a little bit about it. Sure. Um, Gateway Community Action Partnership is located in the great city of Bridgeton, as you are aware. And we service Mercer, Atlanta, Cape May, Cumberland, Salem, Gloucester, and did I mention Camden? I think uh, I did. So many. Did so, <laughs> so what we're actually doing, Head Start has actually been involved in the lives of parents for since uh, President uh, Johnson actually initiated Head Start. And uh, we have focused on male engagement throughout those years. What Gateway is actually doing is stepping it up. So they actually brought me in as the male initiative coordinator, and we uh, want to focus on parenting. Well, I want to congratulate you on your new role. Uh, you. And certainly, uh, you've been involved with Head Start, serving as the president of the Parents Association. Gateway happens to be the largest operator of Head Starts uh, in, in the state. So it certainly is a, it's a great initiative. Why do you think it's so important to get uh, fathers especially involved? Well, research actually shows that when a male figure is actually involved in a children's life, they tend to do better. Uh, we're not saying that mother figures are not important. What we're saying is that they have a greater chance if the male figure is actually involved since early in their childhood. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that the parents, the father figures are aware of this so they could take an advantage. We also actually focus on the mothers so they know uh, what an advantage is to have a male figure involved in their children's life. Yeah, it's not those old days where the father went off to work, the mother stayed home and took care of the children. Obviously now you got both parents working, so it's important to have that interaction with both parents engaged. That is correct, Bert. Um, as you well know, uh, I think our country has changed from years of being in wars in the past to a more stay-at-home dad probably because of the technology jobs opportunities or some of our families don't even have that opportunity so we make sure that as they're involved uh, they're there they're present and they know what they're doing so what tip would you say it's, it's important for fathers to keep in mind regarding uh, being fathers to their children sure I think the basic thing is that there isn't a written uh, book on, on fathering, as a matter of fact, of parenting. Uh, 
So we learn as we go. And we have a lot of people that actually has gone through this before, and we're here to help you long way. I think the key is getting involved. Right? Yes. Right? And uh, oftentimes uh, the father may not be as involved in the kid's early head start, if you will. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so important. Yes, sir. Now, uh, when does this initiative take place and, and how does it roll out? So we already started the program. It already rolled out in Atlantic and Cape May County, and we're going to continue to actually lift it up throughout the other counties. Um, basically, we are already engaging the uh, male figures, but we have done that three different times of the year. Right now, we want to do it monthly or even greater than that, depending on the so needs these, of the father. these monthly meetings that you're having with them? Yes. Okay. We actually have one coming up in January 18th, Friday, at the uh, GSEC building, which is 1433 Baccarat. On Boulevard in Atlantic City, um, we're going to have breakfast with Dad. Oh, that's very important. And certainly this is a very important initiative. Wish you a lot of luck and Thank success you. with it. And look forward to hearing more about it. Most definitely. All right. That's all the time we have. Thank you for joining us. And Feliz Navidad from all of us here at Latino Motion. Choose to get your feet wet. To learn more about protecting our environment. Choose to read minds. To understand the human brain. Choose to get your hands dirty. To create a masterpiece. Stockton University offers 50 high quality academic programs, small class sizes, and affordable tuition. Choose to match your interests and talents at one of New Jersey's nationally ranked universities. Funding for Latino Motion is provided by Atlanticare, a member of Geisinger. Atlantic City Electric, energy for a changing world. And South Jersey Gas. Thank you for connecting with Latino Motion. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. My name is Adrian Lopez and I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I wish you a Merry Christmas, I wish you a Merry Christmas, I wish you a 